I can please get you to bow your heads. Dear Heavenly and Gracious Father, as we gather here today, we just want to know, uh, you to know how thankful and grateful we are for the opportunities that we have. We ask that you place uh, special blessings and hedge of protection around each and every person here. We ask that you guide our Junior uh, Livestock Association members to be good sportsmen and work really hard to be the best they absolutely can be. We ask that you just place uh, extra patience when it, within all of us and make this environment one that we can all learn and grow together. We ask uh, just uh, for traveling mercies as everyone leaves today to go home. And we ask just an abundance of blessings on our 2024 uh, year. And it's in your special, precious name that we pray. Amen. All right, please rise for the playing of the National Anthem. Today's show. On behalf of the Preston County Livestock Association, we just want to welcome each and every one of you. We're excited uh, to be here today. We're going to go ahead and announce our uh, judge for today. She will be doing the showmanship, market, and uh, pepper show. Our show uh, judge today is Caitlin Bell. Caitlin grew up in Nottingham, Pennsylvania, on her family's crop pack operation. B and R Angle. Growing up, Caitlin was very involved in 4-H, exhibiting cattle, sheep, hogs, and goats. Caitlin was involved in the National Junior Angus Association, showing heifers and bulls nationally, in addition to claiming multiple Supreme Champion titles at the PA State Farm Show. She was a member of the Chester County Livestock Judging Team that won the state contest in 2016 and was third overall at the national contest in Louisville that year. In 2017, Caitlin traveled to Scotland and Ireland to judge in the International 4-H Judging Contest where she won reason. Caitlin attended Kansas State University, majoring in ag business and minoring in animal science. She was a member of Block and Bridal, the 2020 Meat Judging Team, 2021 National Champion Meat Animal Evaluation Team, and 2021 Livestock Judging Team. Currently, Caitlin serves as a coach for the Chester County 4-H Livestock and Meat Judging Team and works at First Citizens Community Bank as an ag lender. Let's welcome Ms. Caitlin Bell. All right, we are going to roll with our first class of senior showmanship as all of our intermediate and junior members need to report to the stands uh, as we're getting ready to start. We want our intermediate and junior members to please watch our senior showman show. As all of you know, we do have new members and as they fall into some of these classes, they have never shown before. So today being our spring preview show, we will use this as a learning opportunity to talk with all members as uh, we go through each age group. But we do have some very seasoned senior showmen. So this will be a learning experience through our showmanship today. Our first class, if you would please enter the show ring, 
We have Katrina Harsh, Carson Stone, Connor Gibson, Bryson Evans, and Raven Moose. Judge, you can pull one and two back from each class in this division. Class two, please be on deck.
back have all done a really nice job as well. I think you guys, your eye contact has been really, really good, which is super important. There's maybe just a couple out here that are being a little bit more challenging and a little bit more of a handful today. Um, the young man in particular, I do want to commend you. You sure was being a, a pretty big jerk there for a while. And the longer he's been out here, it's easy to kind of settle down and, and gotten a little bit over whatever was spooking him a little bit. And you're doing a really nice job getting him stuck. Showmanship is a team sport, though, unfortunately. So sometimes it's really hard when your partner doesn't want to quite cooperate the way you would hope. Um, but I encourage you guys to come back and watch these other classes and keep up the work at home. Like I said, it's their first show. They're probably a little jittery. You guys are probably a little jittery. Um, so just keep putting in the work at home, and hopefully by the time you get out to the next show, they're a little bit calmer. But very nice job. Coming back out of class one will be Carson Stone and Connor Gibson. After the ring is empty, we need class two to come in. Kenzie Clark, Remington Poling, Cordell Balliard, Caden Hayes, and Landon Balliard. Class three, please be on deck.
class, and uh, there's three in here that I think it's pretty close for me. Um, the young lady and the young man that I pull off to the side here, they're going to come back. Um, I think their attention to detail is really good, um, and just in terms of how they handle themselves out in the ring is also really good. Um, I do want to mention this young man here with this uh, painted cap. You do a tremendous job getting your steer set. You always know where I'm at in the ring. Um, the thing that makes it really close for me between um, you and the other two is just the fact that he's got a regular halter on. Um, I've shown some that don't like show halters, and I know that's part of it too. Um, you've done a really nice job working with them out here. I'd just probably like to see him with either an all-black rope halter or a show halter if possible. I know, you know, maybe he's not a fan of that show halter quite yet. That's something you can work towards this year, but you've done a really, really nice job as well. Um, the two young men that are out here have also done a really nice job. Your eye contact has been great. Um, you know, the young man up in front, your steer's been a little bit more jittery, and he maybe hasn't wanted to stand still quite as much, but I really appreciate you continuing to take the time to circle him out and just get his feet set. Um, and the young man here, I asked him how he was doing, and he told me he was nervous because it's his first time out here. Um, and I want to tell you, I hope you never lose those nerves. I hope you don't. Um, I still get nervous when I show. And I always thought that if you didn't get nervous, it means that you don't care. So I hope you always stay a little bit nervous. Maybe not as nervous as you are right now. Keep a little bit of that nerve in you. Because you've done a really good job out here making sure your steer set up. He looks great right where he's at. Just a few little things we can work on going forward in terms of making sure that you're looking at me or the judge as they're walking around. And maybe just trying to get his head up a little. I know he's getting a little lazy on you. But you guys have done a really, really nice job here. I look forward to seeing these two come back. Very nice class. Returning to the senior final drive will be Cordell Balliard and Kenzie Clark. We now need class three to get ready to enter the ring once it is empty. Class three is Pierre Strasser, Nathan Wolf, Mariah Titchener, Madison Montgomery, Joseph Hauser, and Easton Hayes. Showmanship division, and uh, those that are in the final drive, uh, you will need to be on deck.
on Mountain Digital Hometown TV. Returning in the final drive will be Vera Strasser and Easton Hayes. 
We will need uh, class one of intermediate showmen on deck. And now entering the ring, we are ready for our final drive once the show ring is empty. In the ring, we need uh, Carson Stone, Connor Gibson, Cordell Bollier, Kenzie Clark, Vera Strasser, and Easton Hayes. And this will be your final drive. For, and we will have an overall uh, champion senior showman. Nice job. Um, and I'll share what I asked with them. It wasn't necessarily um, a placing thing. 
into the show ring. Kenley Stone, Ashton Harsh, Ryland Sanders, Landon Sisler, and Lena C. Class three, please be on deck.
thing, uh, thank LEC Farm and Garden Market for the beautiful flowers and ferns that are uh, decorating our backdrop today for our pictures. Also, Stephanie Arnett for setting all of that up for us. She always does such a wonderful job. Also, like to thank Stacy Evans for her hard work in uh, getting the concession stand organized and all of our wonderful volunteers and uh, those who contributed homemade baked goods for our concession stand today. Wonderful, it's crystal clear, 
and it's uh, really, really good. And so special thanks to Vanessa Hayes for coordinating all of that, and Steve Blake for training uh, us on how to use this, and also Prodigy uh, Home to Fiber for providing us with our uh, Wi-Fi service here free of charge. So just remember, when you see those folks, just say extend a, a thank you uh, for that.
Coming back for the final drive will be Briar Coder and Denise Jenkins. Once the show ring is empty, we will need our final drive uh, participants. That consists of Caleb Stone, Nick Bernardowitz, Kenley Stone, Lena C., Caden Bollier, Laura Stemple, Briar Coger, and Denise Jenkins.
like to uh, extend a special thank you to uh, Nicole Peasley, Ike McCleary, and AJ Markowitz. Um, Nicole uh, always is so organized to uh -huh. help us with our classes and, and waste slips and all those things that are critical when we're weighing in and setting up our classes. Also, uh, AJ and uh, Ike are waymasters today. Um, we couldn't do it if volunteers weren't willing to get certified to do those things for us. So we certainly appreciate that.
We will need Jay Strasser and Emma Stemple on deck to come back for the final drive after the conclusion of class two. We will uh, roll right into the market steer show, so uh, we need to be prepared if you're not for that. to our junior board members that are here today and helping. We have Carson Stone, he's also showing. We have Marley Phillips, Cordell Bollier, who is also showing, and Emily Witt. Um, we have it. these junior board members are selected every year. Uh, they attend our board meetings and, and step up uh, and help in... Uh, I'm getting out of the way.
here. I'm going to uh, pull the young man and the gentleman over here in front of me out. They're going to come back for champion. Uh, both of these um, young individuals do a really nice job. The young man, you're just super, super um, efficient in terms of how you get your heifer set up. You do a really nice job keeping your head up. Um, your eye contact is really good, and I really appreciate that. Uh, the young lady, you have one that's a little bit more of a handful compared to the young man's heifer, um, but you've done a really nice job just working with him out here and making sure that you uh, stay calm. And I really like how you took the time to loin him when he needed to be loined, even though he was maybe a little bit worked up. Um, but keep sticking with him. You've done a really, really good job. Uh, the two that aren't ready to get to come back have both done a really, really nice job out here, and I know it's been challenging for them. Um, you know, this, it's always tough when a couple start acting up in your class. It makes the rest of the class pretty difficult. Um, the young man, you've just done a really good job getting your steer set up, and I really appreciate that. Uh, the one thing I'd say is his head's kind of big, and it's right where your head is, too, which makes it a little hard for me to see you from time to time. So maybe instead of just standing right next to his head, actually take a step back off the halter, just like that, just like that. It's so much easier easier for me to see you, and that way I know you know where I'm at in the ring and that you're paying attention to what's going on, but you've done a really, really nice job out here as well. Um, the young lady, your steer's a little bit of a handful. He's a little firecracker, isn't he? Um, but I think you've done a really nice job with him. Keep working with him, you know. Um, I'll tell you a story. There was one time uh, we were going to a jackpot show in a different state, but there was a big Angus show, um, and it wasn't that far from home, and I wanted to do showmanship there for my last year. So I found one of my friends, and I said, hey, can I use your heifer down there? And she said, absolutely, you can use her in showmanship. So I took her in for showmanship, and no sooner did I take two steps into that show ring, and that heifer drug me, and she got away. And I was going down there in hopes that I'd have a chance to win that deal. Needless to say, you good? Needless to say, I didn't get very far in showmanship that day. Keep working with them at home. Don't get up. Don't give up. And I can tell you there's probably not a single person in this barn that hasn't been drunk by one before. So if you're thinking that you're the only one that's been through that, don't worry. Everyone else has too, and it does get better. But very nice class. Congratulations to all those exhibitors. Turning for the final drive will be Callie Simple and Charlie Hayes. We do need our final drive back in the show ring. Jace Strasser, Emma Simple, Callie Simple, and Charlie Hayes. We will have a champion and a reserve out of this class. On deck, we need our lightweight market steer class to be ready. That consists of Nathan Wolf, Katrina Harsh, and Megan Nyman.
talk with you about the opportunities with FFA. Good, but certainly a probably statistically very rare lineup out here. I heard it's two pairs of siblings out here competing against each other. Um, and I'll tell you guys right now, you probably want to beat your brother or your sister, whoever's out here, uh, pretty bad. But there's probably no one else in the world that will make you work harder uh, to beat that person than your brother and your sister. Um, and it's really, really, it's a good motivator. Um, competition is good if you don't have competition. There's no reason to get any better. And I am a firm believer that the best competition is your sibling that lives under the same roof and shares the same barn with you. Um, there are enough times that if I could do something dirty to my brother, like, I don't know, aggravate his heifer before he went into the show ring, if we were in the same division, I may or may not have done that a time or two. Um, I saw you make that face. I just gotta get her a little spicy so she shows real well for me. Make the judge know that, that he knows that he can show, you know? Um, but no, sibling rivalry is really, really good. Uh, so I will encourage you guys and others that were here in the break today to use that sibling rivalry to your advantage. Use it to make you a better showman um, and a better competitor. And there is no better way to learn how to lose graciously than to get beat by your younger brother. I got beat by him more times than I can count. Uh, and he is my least favorite person to get beat by. Um, but there is really no one better that shows you how to be a gracious loser than your older or younger sibling. Uh, but out here, these juniors have done a really, really nice job. Um, and you know, it's an interesting age division. It's always one where you have the kids that are just starting out and the ones that are kind of working their way towards being in the media to being pretty competitive out there. And there's certainly some differences out here in terms of just how animals are handling and presenting themselves. Some are a little bit easier and uh, more relaxed, and some are just a little bit higher strung. Um, but I think all of them have done a really, really nice job getting them shown. Um, for me, there's probably two that kind of stand out. They're different in terms of just how their animals are working with them out here, but I think they both just do a really nice job in making sure that those animals are presented. Um, I think it gets probably pretty close and pretty nitpicky between the two. Um, I think one's probably just a little bit more aware of what's going on in the ring at all times. Um, than the other, but again, they're really good. Like I said in the last division, I'll go out and I'll show you, um, you know, a champion and then a reserve just for bragging rights, uh, because that was my bad, I messed it up the first time. Uh, but again, really, really nice job for everyone today in showmanship. Congratulations to all you guys. Wherever I'll be your showman goes to Jace Strasser. We 
are going to roll right into the Marcus Deer Show. Our judge says let's roll, so we roll. Uh, light uh, weight, class one of our Marcus Steers is Nathan Wolf, Katrina Harsh, and Reagan Nyman. Please enter the show room. We need class two on deck. That's Emma Stemple, Caleb Stone, Madison Montgomery, Caden Balliard, Ashton Harsh, and Raven Motes.
guests to start out uh, the steer show, and, and I'll just tell you guys how I'm looking at them from where I'm looking at them. These, I'm viewing all these steers as prospects too, so I'm picking them kind of um, just in terms of one that I want to take home and one that I want to feed. Um, you know, and I think uh, there's certainly different types and kinds in this class, and, and you could probably justify starting with any of them in here. Uh, I'll just kind of tell you what I see. So the young lady here with the all-black cap is going to go ahead and start off this class. I think just from a composition standpoint, in terms of the fat that he's got on him right now, he's probably right where he needs to be. Um, he's still plenty enough green, but he does have a little cover he's starting to show. And I really do like this guy, just in terms of the design of his front end, his head and his neck. He's really good in the angle of his shoulder there. Really nice and level out of his hip. Where I struggle with him the most is just the design of his hind leg. He has a little bit extra set to his hop, causes him to pull that hind leg underneath of himself a little bit. Um, it's one that I think as time progresses and goes on, you can work that back leg a little bit further out when you get him set up, and that's definitely going to help it. Um, and it's, it's not that he's bad structured, it's just kind of an eyesore a little bit. Um, but I certainly think he'll be a really good, really easy feeding type of steer. Um, so for me, he's probably just the combination one to go ahead and start with. The young lady's body cap that's going to come out next. Um, from a design standpoint, he's probably my favorite in the class. He's the most upheaded, really, really long body, long spine type of steer. I like the density of bone he has down at the ground. He's really good there. He does have some true muscle shape when you get up high and look at him. He's probably uh, the widest just in terms of his pin width. I'm not going to sit here and tell you he has the most muscle expression out of any one of the class. Uh, for me, he just gets to be a little bit shallower through the lower one third of his flank there. I'd like to soften him up a little bit. Um, and he's pretty green. So for me, what I question the most is just where is his terminal end point going to be? He definitely looks like the type that's going to be more of a 1,500 pound steer uh, than a 1,300 pound steer. Not that there's anything wrong with that. He's just going to require a little bit more feed and input down the road. But still a really nice prospect for the young lady. The young man's red cap that's going to round out the class. Um, he is the one that is the most expressive in terms of his muscle shape today. Probably not just as genuinely wide in his pin set as the young lady here ahead of him, but just in terms of the shape out of his form, down his hip, over his loin, he's really big, really impressive there. He's also one that's just really practical in terms of his design. Um, not, a, not really any structural issues or anything for me from that aspect. Where I am a little bit concerned is just the amount of finish he has. He's starting to get a little soft. Not that he's anywhere near to being overdone, but I think he's just going to be a little bit quicker maturing type of steer. He'll probably be closer to that 1,200-pound range. Just gets a little bit jammed up through his front one third, maybe a little bit, but still a really nice feeding prospect for the young man. Again, a really challenging class, uh, but certainly one that's very fun to talk through. So congratulations to all those exhibitors. First place, Katrina Harsh. Katrina, you will come back for a lightweight champion uh, final drive there. Second place, Reagan Nyman. Third place, Nathan Wolf. Class two, entering the show ring, we have Emma Stemple, Caleb Stone, Madison Montgomery, Hayden Bollier, Ashton Harsh, and Raven Motes. We need class three on deck. That's Landon Bollier, Hunter Harsh, Lyle Riley, Brayton Hayes, and Lane Jenkins.
Just a reminder to all of our junior showmen that are showing their market uh, steers today, you absolutely must stay till the conclusion of the show to sign the sign-out sheets. You must have shown in showmanship and the market steer uh, show. And you have to sign out at the end of the show today in order for this to count as one of your requirements. So make certain that you do not leave or this will not count as your requirement. I think when you get off of the side of him, he's really good and level in terms of how his top's laid in him. 
I really like how his neck transitions uh, from his shoulder back into his back, and I think he's really good in terms of the angle of his shoulder. Uh, for me, I think he's a little bit more expressive, and he does have just a little bit more bark on him when I get to handle him. Not too much, but just probably the right amount for this stage of the game. Uh, but where I struggle with him the most is probably just into that rear flank. He just gets a little bit shallower there. I just probably like his soft him up a little bit going forward, but still a nice project for the young man. The young lady's cat that's coming next, he's one that I really like from a lot of aspects. He's really soft and productive through his center body. He's just a really easy feeding look. He's still good in terms of how his neck ties into the top of his shoulder. Maybe just a little bit bigger in the center of his shoulder compared to the steer in front of him. Um, but just a really soft, practical, easy feeding look. And he actually surprised me when I got my hands on him. He's pretty green and he's still got a long way to go. I was thinking he was going to have a little bit more cover than uh, what he does. Uh, but that's really good at this stage of the game. It means he's still got a lot of gas in the tank. For me, what's separating that pair is probably just the build of his hip and hind leg. Um, he's got a little bit extra set to his hock, which causes him to pull his hind leg and hip kind of underneath himself so when he gets out and goes. He just wants to drop in his pins a little bit, but still a really nice steer that the young lady brings out. The young lady's body cap that's going to come out next. He's one that I really like. Um, just in terms of his center body, he's really soft through his rib, really good in terms of his structure when he gets out and goes super flexible off of either end. He's probably one that's a little bit larger frame compared to the ones in front of him. So for this stage of the game, it just kind of puts him um, at a little bit of an awkward spot. He's not quite filled out in terms of all the muscle that he's going to have, but he still does have some genuine pin width um, and dimension there. Probably not quite as um, clean through the lower portion of his throat as the ones in front of him, but just a really good practical feeding cap for the young lady. The young lady steer that's going to come out here next, he's one that's really, um, again, just a long spine cap, and I really like this guy, especially down into the lower portion of his flank. He's super, super soft down there, and he does um, have a little bit more extension about his head and neck compared to the steer ahead of him and behind him. For me, he's probably just a little bit more open and coarser about his shoulder. I'd like to lay him in there here, and then maybe just stop him up in terms of his work for him. The young man's cap is going to go ahead and round out the class. He's one that's just really good in terms of his structural build. I think the design of his hip and hind leg is really good, very, very functional, and he does paint a nice picture from the side. When I get behind him is when I struggle a little bit more. He wants to close up through his heart and forward there, and maybe gets a little bit older around the point of his shoulder. I'd like to just change him and soften him up in a couple of those spots to go any higher, but again, a really nice class. Congratulations to all these exhibitors. First place, Caden Bowyer. Second place, Caleb Stone. Third place, Emma Stemple. Fourth place, Madison Montgomery. Fifth place, Raven Moats. Sixth place, Ashton Harsh. We now need class three of our lightweight division. In the show ring, Landon Bowyer, Hunter Harsh, Lila Riley, Brayton Hayes, and Lane Jenkins. We need class four on deck. Landon Sisler, Stephen Hauser, Ryan Nyman, Kenzie Clark, and Easton Hayes. Also remember, if you're a first or second place, you do need to be on deck for the division. Uh, we just discussed, so it's just important and uh, 
a good safety, health and safety measure uh, to, to watch what you're doing. And if anyone ever has any questions about it or concerns with anything like that, please never hesitate to reach out, out and ask because there are certain, certainly most of the time, easy remedies for some of these things that uh, the cattle uh, get coming out uh, throughout the year.
muscle shape up high. I really like how he handles out of his loin. Really impressive from behind in terms of his pin width and the shape down into the lower portion of his quarter. He's starting to get a little bit crestier on the top side of his neck there. Uh, but he's one that I still think has a lot of gas left in the tank. Certainly should be a really nice feeding steer for the young man. Very nice place to start. Um, in second and third gear, it certainly gets a little bit challenging, and there are two very different types of steers. Um, I'll just tell you what I'm thinking. Um, you don't have to agree with me, but this is just where I kind of lay my priorities. The young lady's calf here. Um, he's good in terms of his structure. He's flexible off of either end. Um, and yes, he does have some muscle shape. Not a lot of expression at this stage of the game, but he does have muscle shape, and he's gotten enough wins for me. When I get my hands on him, he is probably one of the greatest steers in this class. He has very, very minimal fat cover on him right now. He's going to be a bigger finish here when he's all said and done. But for me, he's one that I can pour feet into and get him um, to be market weight in a very short period of time, and he'd be very efficient doing it. Uh, the young man's cat, he's obviously kind of the cool looking one out here. He's really hairy, really wide. Um, I like his definition. Um, and he paints a really pretty picture from the side profile. Uh, for me, my biggest concern is just will he be bigger. Um, he's got a fair amount of fat cover on him right now. And, uh, you know, he doesn't look like he's got a lot of length in that cannon bone. Um, so my biggest question is what is his terminal weight going to be? Um, I wouldn't be surprised if he's more than 1,100 pounds here. Um, just based off the amount of fat that he's got on him right now. But like I said, he's one that does have a ton of top shape. I really like the loin on this guy. He's really big, really wide there. Certainly has the hair and has the look to him, which makes him look really cool. I just kind of question what his terminal end point will be. That's why I put him third. The young man steer that's going to come out here next. I think it gets close between these two steers. Uh, they're very, very similar in a couple of aspects, but then they have a couple of differences between the two. Uh, for me, the young man here, his steer's probably just a little bit longer body, and I prefer the design of his hip and hind leg. He sets it down leveler, it's square when he kinds of to, um, pop to ground, and I think he's just a crack in terms of where his pin set is in relation to his um, hip bone. The one thing I'd probably change about this guy is he gets to be a little bit frailer in terms of his feature of the ground, maybe a little bit more coarse and open in terms of the top of his shoulder there, but the still young man is a little bit extra on that steer. The young man's road steer that's been around out the class, compared to the steer in front of him, he does have the coarse shape and does have more dimension, excuse me, especially out of his loin and back into his hip right now. And I certainly think he has a lot of potential to be fed out. He's got a nice soft ribbon to him. The thing that I don't um, love about this steer is just the design of his hip and hind leg here. He wants to drop in his pin sets a little bit. If I could just elevate him up there, I'd make a case for switching the hair. But because he gets a little bit lower there, I just like to leave him to round out the class. But again, a really nice class. Congratulations to all the exhibitors. First place goes to Lane Javens. Second place, Lyle Hayes. Third place, Brayton Hayes. Fourth place, Hunter Harsh. Fifth place, Landon Bogger. We need class four in the show ring. Landon Sickler, Stephen Hauser, Ryan Diamond, Henry Clark, and Easton Hayes. This is the final class in the lightweight division. And uh, when we finish with this class four, we will need all first place um, winners from class one through four back in the show ring, and class two for all three class or place two for all four classes will need to be on standby for the uh, reserve champion. So on standby, we need first and second place participants from all. Uh, lightweight division classes.
Again, I would like to thank LEC Farm Garden uh, and Market uh, for their awesome uh, contribution to all of our shows. Anytime we ask for flowers or decorations for the backdrop, they always uh, rise to the challenge. And so just a special thank you to them. If you're not certain who they are, uh, you can follow them on Facebook. And they are the awesome uh, market that is down at the intersection here right in town beside Clear Mountain Bay. So a special thank you to them. Also, a special thank you to Stephanie Arnett for always making sure our backdrop is arranged and, and nice for our, our pictures. And a huge shout out to our volunteers today that work the concession stand. Uh, we've had a uh, long time member uh, that went down there uh, helping all day um, along with other uh, junior uh, family members that uh, have just rise to the challenge and, and stepped up. Thank you to the ones that donated uh, the baked goods for our um, sale today. We do appreciate that. Another interesting class here. Uh, the young ladies here that I opted to settle on, you kind of combinations here in the class for me. Um, I think his design is really good. He takes a really pretty picture from the side profile. Uh, maybe it's a little bit straighter the angle of his shoulder than looks to rock forward a little bit. Uh, but I think his hip and high leg is built really nice. Um, he's one that's uh, got some grow and got some length of the spine to him. I certainly think he's going to be one of the heavier finishing or the heavier weight steers when he gets to his finish um, weight. But um, he still does have enough muscle shape and enough definition when you get in behind him. Probably not the most powerful one out here. Uh, but I just think in terms of his build and how he's put together, he's probably just the easy feeding place to start. Uh, the young man steer that's going to come out in second, he is the most powerful one out here. He's super big through his hips. I really like the shape out of his loins. Um, certainly has a lot of width through his chest through there. Um, much like the sign that was in the class before, he's one that I just struggle a little bit with in terms of where his terminal endpoint is going to be. He gets to be a little bit shorter in his cannon. He's got enough uh, battle. I just wonder how big he's going to be when he does get down the road to uh, his terminal weight, but still uh, a really powerful steer. The young man's gold cap is going to come out next. He's one that's just kind of a uh, uh, very practically built steer. His structure's good. He's super, super flexible when he gets out and goes. Really like how his spine stays in. And yet, he does have some softness to rib, and he does have some depth down into his flank. Not very overwhelming when I get in behind him. Probably not the most powerful and expressive out of his hip. Uh, but I think it's one that you could feed some of that expression and muscle shape back into. Uh, certainly be interesting to see how he turns out down the road. What a nice project for the young man. On the other hand, the young man's calf is going to come out next. He is one that just has a ton of muscle shape and a ton of muscle expression out through his hip, down into the lower portion of his quarter, really big over his loins. He just seems to be a little bit piecier. Um, he's a little bit coarser and more open about his shoulder, um, a little bit straighter at the angle of his hock there. He wants to round out of his hip pretty good. I just like to fix him in a couple of those spots to go in higher, but certainly a really heavy muscle, very powerful. So for the young man. The young man's red cap that's going to go ahead and round out the class. Again, he's one that's just really practical in terms of how his body's laid into him. He's really good at the angle of his hip and hind leg. He's a little bit straighter up through his front leg third, probably a little bit wider in terms of uh, 
Um, his throat latching down through his brisket. Really just like to see this one with a little bit more substance when he hits the ground. But again, another really nice clash. Congratulations to all those exhibitors. First place goes to Kenzie Clark. She needs to remain in the show ring. We also need Lane Jenkins back in. We need Caden Bolliard and Katrina Harsh. We will need Reagan Nyman, Caleb Stone, Lila Riley. Who was the second place in that class? Uh, Ryan Nyman on deck. They are the second place and it if the winner, the, the champion of this lightweight division, whoever that is, then the second place from their class will come in to select our reserve champion.
more challenging in my mind. I'll tell you kind of where I'm thinking. It's between the young man out uh, of the second class and the young lady out of the fourth class. Uh, their steers are obviously very different just in terms of their builds and design. Uh, the young man out of the second class, his steer's a little bit more moderate in terms of his frame. Certainly not going to be the biggest uh, fat steer in the world, but he does have some substance of bone. He has a lot of power and dimension for this stage of the game when you get behind him. And relative to some of the other ones out here, he does have a fair amount of finish on him. Not too much, um, but certainly more finish than a couple of the other ones out here. Uh, the young lady out of the last class, he's one that's really green and really long. Um, certainly has a long ways to go before he's at his terminal endpoint, but really good in terms of his structure. Um, I really like the design and the side profile on this guy. Probably not just as quite as genuinely wide and doesn't have quite as much shape out of his hip as the steer in front of him. Um, you know, certainly, like I said, just two very different types and kinds of steer, steers out here in contention for reserve. For me, I'm probably going to go with this young man's cap out here. I think he's just got a little bit more muscle expression and shape, but very nice job. Your reserve champion lightweight division goes to Caden Balliard. That concludes our lightweight division. Once the show ring empties, we need class five. This begins our medium weight division. Laura Simple, Colby Hayes, Mariah Titchell, and Joseph Hauser. On deck, we will need class six. Vera Strother, Ryland Sanders, Ty Jenkins, Colleen Eisentrout and Bryson Evans. Yeah, that's going to go ahead and start. I think it's just a really nice place to go ahead and start with. 
Um, in terms of his build, he's easily the best in the class. Super flexible on the beater end. I really like how his neck and shoulder all tie in there. He's really smooth, very good in terms of that angle. Um, and, and yeah, he does have a ton of real muscle shape when he gets up high. He's very fresh, has a ton of pop to that muscle. Um, and I think, uh, you know, just down the road, he'll be a very, very good feeding steer for the young lady and certainly one that'll lay on muscle um, in the correct way. Um, and certainly he's starting to get a little cover on and has a really nice handle to him, but a really nice place to start for the young lady. Um, the young man's calf that's going to come out next, he's one that certainly um, has a lot of uh, length of spine to him. I really like the length on this guy. And his neck is really long, uh, you know, for being a, a crossbred, really, really hairy steer. Um, I do think this guy has a ton of shape out of his hip, uh, back into the lower portion of his quarter. It's a structure for me that kind of puts him here in second today. He's really straight off of his rear hock. I'd like to see him flex and go with more comfort there. And then I'd probably like to clean him up in terms of his neck. Although his neck is long, he's starting to get a little bit crusty. Doesn't tie his neck in quite as high at the top of his shoulder there as the steer in front of him. Just like to change him in a couple spots, but really a nice steer for the young man. The young lady steer that's going to come out next. Uh, he's certainly going to be a big boy down the road. He doesn't have a whole lot of finish on him now, um, and I'm certain that she can feed it into him. Uh, he's really soft in terms of his center body, really like the length of spine on this guy. He's one that probably gets to be a little bit more jammed up in terms of his front one-third, probably a little bit lower in terms of how his neck ties into his shoulder, not as clean through his throat latch and brisket. I just like to stout him up in terms of his own work, but still a really nice and something like that the young lady brings out. The young man steer that's going to round out the class. He's one that I really like from his front one third. He's very good in terms of how his head and neck ties in. Really smooth about his shoulder. I like the angle of his shoulder as well. When I see him from behind is where I uh, get a little challenged with him. He wants to toe out on those back two legs. I'd like to square him up there and probably just give him a little bit more levelness in terms of his pin set. He wants to drop there a little bit as he gets out and goes. But he still handles really nice, has a nice degree of finish for the stage of the game. Young man does a nice shot getting him shown. Congratulations on the nice class. Class 5, medium weight division. First place, Laura Stemple. Second place, Colby Hayes. Third place, Mariah Titchnell. Fourth place, Joseph Hauser. In the show ring, we need class 6, Vera Strasser, Rylan Sanders, Ty Jenkins, Colleen Eisentrout, and Bryson Evans. We need class 7 on deck, Cordell Bolliard, Nick Bernardowitz, Isabella Henry, and Briar Coburn. We will need Laura Stemple on deck, as well as Colby Hayes for the final drive of the medium weight division.
Wolfie is through his center body. Uh, certainly has a lot of shape out of his loin. Back into a really big pin set. Um, I had my hands on him too. He's pretty much 12 o'clock in terms of his finish for this stage of the game. I really appreciate that about him. Maybe he wants to get just a little bit tighter in his spine here and there. Uh, but still one that's just really good from a fat steer standpoint. Uh, I think he'll finish out to make a really nice camp. The young lady's black cap that's going to come out next. He's really highly presented. I love the hair coat he's got on him. Super, super good to the touch uh, from that aspect. And I think his neck ties in really nice at the top of his shoulder. Uh, for me, I just wish he was a little bit cleaner in terms of how he blended throughout. He can to be a little bit bigger in terms of his shoulder there. Maybe not quite as soft into the lower portion of his leg as this here in front of him. And for me, he wants to just toe out, or excuse me, not toe out. He wants to bow out in his hawk a little bit every now and then. Just fix him in this couple little spots. Definitely a very, very close pair. Uh, but still a really nice cap that the young lady brings out. The young lady's cap is going to come out here next. He's one that's got a ton of muscle shape back out of his hip down into the lower portion of his quarter. I think he's really super expressive there. Um, and he's certainly one that does have some softness of center body and some rib shape to him. He's probably one that gets to be a little bit coarser in terms of how he blends over that hip loin there. Maybe not quite as extended through his front one third. Like to stop him up in terms of his bone work. But a really nice practical feeding calf that the young lady brings out. The young lady steer that's going to come out here next. He's one that's a little bit longer and smoother in terms of how he blends out of his hip loin there. Um, and certainly I really like the extension this guy has about his head and neck. A little bit more, a little bit more practical through the front one third of his body. He still has enough rib shape and definition for me. Uh, but when I get behind him and watch him go, that's probably when I struggle here. Like, yeah, I know, right? Yeah, that's where I struggle with him the most. He just wants to drop in his pins a little bit too much. He kind of pulls that hind leg a little bit too far underneath, but it's certainly one that still does have some muscle shape and has some definition, just like you fix him from a structural standpoint. The young man's is going to round out the class. He's one that I certainly appreciate just from length of spine. Um, he's very, very long. He's a really lean calf, too. Um, he's certainly got um, time that he can still be fed out, and his structure is really, really good on either end. He's probably just uh, a little bit too long for this stage of the game. It's uh, hurting him a little bit as he is so lean. He's just not quite as wide and powerful as the Maybe just gives up a little bit of expression of muscle, but from a design standpoint and a build, very, very nice cap for the young man. Again, a really nice class. Congratulations to all these exhibitors. First place, Ty Jenkins. Second place, Vera Strasser. Third place, Pauline Eisenstrauss. Fourth place, Ryan Sanders. Fifth place, Bryson Evans. We will need Ty Jenkins. First place and second place, Vera Strasser to remain on deck. Last class of this division is class seven. We need Cordell Lawyer, Nick Bernardowitz, Isabella Henry, and Briar Cover to enter the show ring. We will need Class 8 uh, Heavyweight Division on deck. That is Lena C, Connor Gibson, Tally Stemple, and Carson Porter.
that's okay. He's got a little curl left in him. Uh, for me, where I struggle with this guy the most is just his structure. He gets really straight up front. Um, he wants to get really straight and tight in terms of the way he plants that left hind leg. I'd like to see him go with a little bit more comfort and flexibility while he's out here. still a nice calf. The young man's black calf looks going to come out next. He's certainly one that's just super, super expressive in terms of his muscle shape. It helps he's got him sheared out. I mean, you can just see that muscle popping out of his quarter as he takes his step. He's a really long spine calf and one that certainly has a lot of extension um, from the front of his nose back to his face. Um, for me, he's probably just a little bit quicker maturing. Um,
Colby Hayes, we need you in the showroom.
class here, and uh, three students that I think are all really similar just in terms of their muscle and where they're at, in terms of finish for this stage of the game. Uh, but I'm going to leave them the way they stand here. So the young man that's going to go ahead and start off the class, I think his steer is just the boldest and most expressive through his center body. He's probably the mellowest one ter in terms of his finish right now to the touch. Uh, but I think this design of his hip and hind leg is really nice. I like how he sets that down. He can get out and go with plenty of comfort off of either end. And he's probably the best in terms of the angle of his shoulder. He is starting to get a little bit more crusty through the front one third um, of his body there. But certainly for this weight, for this stage of game, for him, I think that's acceptable. Just a really nice place to start. The young man's calf that's going to come out next, he's one that's a little bit taller framed and has a little bit extra length of spine. Um, I really, really like the center rib on this guy. Uh, very, very big, very soft. For me, it's the design of his hawk and his hind leg that I'd like to change and modify a little bit. He gets to be a little bit tighter in terms of how he handles his hawk. Not as comfortable in terms of how he reaches out from his hip there. Just like to give him a little bit more flex off of your end and it'd be a much tighter pair, but still a really nice calf. The young lady steer that's going to come out next, he's one that's really good in terms of his handling quality. I really like the freshness of his hair on this guy, and he's certainly got a really impressive shape up high. Uh, he's very long and extended, and of the three in this class, he is the longest and most attractive about his neck. Uh, for me, he's probably just a little bit too straight and open in terms of his shoulder. I'd like to modify him in terms of how he uses his hock and hind leg. He's a little bit tighter and more restricted there, but still, three really, really nice pairs as the young um, exhibitors bring out here. Uh, congratulations to them all. First place, Carson Stone. Second place, Kenley Stone. They're brothers. <laughs> Third place, Denise Jenkins. We now need in the show ring, Remington Poling and Brantley Ball. We also need Carson and Kenley on deck to uh, compete for the final drive.
today. And these are certainly two very, very nice sears um, and, and very complementary of each other in a lot of ways. Um, you know, I think it's close between these two, and if you wanted to switch it, I'd be okay with that. Uh, for me, I'm going to go ahead and start with the young man's baldy cap. Um, I think just in terms of a freshness and extension standpoint, he's better. He's longer and cleaner about his head and neck, uh, blends in smoother about his shoulder, and he gives me a really, really good handle, super good in terms of his finish and how that's laid on on him. Um, I really like him when he gets out and goes too. Maybe he has just a little extra set to his hawk there, which causes him to pull his hind leg a little bit further underneath of himself from time to time, but still a really nice calf. The young man's roan steer, he's one that I love in terms of the shape that he has out over his loin. He's really big through his center body, super soft down into his flank, and yet he still gives a nice show steer look from the side. Compared to the young man's calf ahead of him, he probably is just a little bit more jammed up about his head and neck, doesn't have quite the same extension, and right now he's, he is handling pretty lean and pretty green. Not that that's an issue, but just for today, I'd probably like to see him have just a little bit more cover for this stage in the game. But certainly two really nice calves these young men bring out here. Very nice job to both of them. First place goes to Brantley Ball. Second place goes to Remington Tolling. We need to have Carson Foreman back in the show ring first. Carson Stone in the show ring second. And Brantley Ball third into the show ring. On deck, we need Lena C, Kenley Stone, and Remington Poling.
Lena, see back in the show. Uh, On deck, we need Lane Jenkins from the lightweight division champion. We need Laura Stemple from the medium weight division. She was the champion. And we will need Carson Foreman on deck. Some out here that might be a little bit more excitable than some other ones. 
Um, but you guys have all done a really good job sticking with it and just getting your camps presented to the best of your ability. Um, I certainly think showing steers is really, really fun. I probably prefer it over heifers because you know if your steer's going to be, be mean from day one or if you have a heifer, you never know what you get when you walk out to the barn. It's like Russian roulette every day. Um, but certainly they're really, really good projects and they teach you a lot of hard work and a lot of dedication um, throughout these. Uh, for me, I think there's one that kind of fits the bill pretty easily. Um, and then I think it could get oh, really close between um, Reserve Champion and then there's a couple of the other ones out here. But man, I like Larry a lot. He's been a huge champion. <laughs> Carson Foreman is your overall champion for the spring of Crazy Show. We need Lena C to come back into the show ring. We will need Carson to get his picture taken with the judge once the sh this show concludes. So we will have a five minute intermission between this show and the Heifer show. Um, like I said, I think for reserve champion it does get a lot closer. Um, it's between the young lady out of the last division and the young lady out of the first division. Um, both of these steers are really two very high quality steers. Um, I know the young lady told me out of the first division that that's a short horn plus steer. Uh, so that's really neat to have a great steer look like that. He's certainly got a lot of quality to him and he still does have some muscle shape and definition to him. Obviously at this stage of the game he's a 900 some pound steer so he's not quite finished and he's not quite done uh, which is okay with me uh, but certainly a lot of quality pieces about that cap. The young lady out of the heavy division again like I talked to him in his class and in his division you know he's one that is just powerful and overwhelming in a lot of aspects um, and, and he's also one that doesn't have quite the degree of finish that he needs to, yet to be done. Um, which is which is good because he still has a little way to go before he does hit that terminal endpoint. You know, I think just here today, right now, um, there's one that just has a little bit more mass, a little bit more power. The young lady out of the last division will be reserve. Reserve champion overall goes to Lena C. Lena, please make sure you get your picture with the judge in the backdrop. That concludes our market steer show. Uh, we still have to get through just a few classes for the heifer show before we put the sign-out sheets out. Uh, please make sure to clean up all your trash and shavings and take your items with you. Uh, and if anybody uh, would like to stick around to help us get everything shut down and locked up and cleaned up, we certainly appreciate volunteers. Um, The heifer show will begin promptly as soon as the, the backdrop pictures are taken from the market show. For our market steer exhibitors today, we have 41 that have been shown today out of our 45 entries for the Buckley Festival, so that's pretty good. Uh, we remind you that we have the July Jackpot Show, which will be your second opportunity to show, and it's a lot of fun and a great experience. Uh, so I encourage you to do that in July. The steers will show, I believe, July 13th. Um, here, uh, down at well, the show is inside the Civic Center. Uh, also, uh, on May 4th, for our market steer exhibitors, uh, we have our uh, market beef clinic. It's a hands-on clinic. You should have received an email to the email that you uh, submitted when you consigned your market uh, steer project. So if you have not RSVP for the Market Beef Clinic, we need to know if you are coming 
and if you are not coming, it's not a requirement, but it does count as a meeting if you attend. And so another great opportunity to uh, sharpen up those showmanship skills and learn a lot about nutrition and how to care for these uh, market steer projects. Again, that clinic uh, begins at 9 a.m. on May 4th, uh, and it'll be here. Concession stand is going to be closing in just a couple minutes, so if there's anybody that needs anything, I know they're pretty much sold out of stuff, so special thank you to those volunteers that work the concession stand and to Stacey Evans for all of her hard work for that. We need class two on deck, that's Goldstrom Cattle Farm, Kenzie Clark, Laura Stemple, Jace Strasser, and Landon Sisler.
class of April Hackers here. Uh, the young lady scimitar that I'm going to go ahead and start with. I think she's the longest bodied one out here. Uh, certainly the most extended and attractive in terms of how her head ties into her neck. Has a lot of female quality about her in that aspect. She's one that does have a fair amount of turn and depth to her rib, or turn and shape to her center rib. Probably not quite as much depth as I'd like to see. Um, and I do even just like to give her a little bit more stoutness in terms of her structure, but still a really nice pepper the young lady brings out. The young man's white part that comes next, this is one that is really deep in terms of her flank. I love the depth of side she has. She is still long enough in terms of her top. Uh, maybe it's a little bit plainer and coarser about her front one third, but one that's really, really flexible when she gets out and goes super comfortable on the beater end. Probably just like to fix her, like I said, through her front one third. Um, and then again, uh, just out of her hip there, she wants to drop a little bit, but certainly a really nice heifer for the young man. And the young lady is heavier that's going to round out the class. She's the heaviest muscle one out here. Uh, certainly the steer maker of the class. She's really long and extended about her front one third. Uh, very stout in terms of her structure at the ground. For me, she just reads a little bit off in terms of how she handles her hip and her hind leg. I'd like to just make her a little bit more comfortable and flexible as she reaches out of her hip. And probably just like to give her a little bit more female quality through the lower portion of her flank. Just soften her up there a little bit. But still, a really nice, really powerful heifer to round out the class. Again, young lady does a really good job getting her show. First place goes to Emma Stemple, second place Briar Coger, third place Goldstrom Cattle Farm. We will need our first and second place to uh, remain on deck. Now we need class two in the show ring, that's Goldstrom Cattle Farm, Kenzie Clark, Laura Stemple, Jay Strother, and Landon Sisler. I didn't announce their birth dates here. Goldstrom Cattle, uh, March 15, 2023, Kenzie Clark, March 8, 2023, Laura Stemple, March 6, 2023, Jake Strasser, March 2, 2023, and Landon Sisler, March 1, 2023. On deck, we need Goldstrom Cattle Farm, Brantley Ball, and Charlie Hayes. Again, as everyone is cleaning up in the cow palace, I just want to remind you to make sure you get all of your trash in and outside of the barn and put it in the proper uh, proper receptacles. Make sure you get all of your combs, brushes, water hose, sensors, all of that off of the wash rack. And just make, uh, make sure that there's no trash or anything on the ground where your trailers are parked. And we just need to make sure we've cleaned up all of the manure inside and outside.
Another really nice class of heifers, and it's certainly interesting having a couple different breeds in here together. Um, for me, I'm going to go ahead and start with the Angus heifer. Um, just in terms of her female feature and quality, I think she's really good. Very good in terms of her lines, super attractive about her head and neck. And yet she has enough rib shape and depth of flank to her to balance out. Um, when she stops from profile, she paints a really pretty picture, looks very attractive. For me, I would like to give her just a little bit more length out of her hip when she gets out and goes. Not that she's um, unsound, but she just gets to be a little bit tighter, a little bit more uncoordinated in terms of how she travels. Just like to give her a little bit more length there. Uh, but still a really nice project the young lady brings out. The young man's Hereford heifer that's going to come next. So I certainly think it gets close between him and the Hereford heifer that's in second. Um, I think the young man's Hereford heifer is probably just a little bit softer down into the lower portion of her flank. She's probably got a little bit more substance of bone when you study her at the ground. And of the two, I think she's more correct in terms of the set of her hip and hind leg. Now, she is a Hereford, and she's starting to get a little bit more chest on her compared to the heifer that's going to fall in third. And I'd like to see her neck blend just a little bit more sm smoothly there from the shoulder into her neck. Uh, but she's still just a really cowy type of female. The young lady's Hereford that's going to come out next, she does have more muscle shape and more power when you get in behind her. I really like the hip on this one. I think she's got a ton of shape out behind her shoulder, back into her um, loin there. Really, really powerful. And like I mentioned, she is cleaner and better through a brisket compared to the heifer in front of her. Where I'd like to change this one a little bit is just in the design of her hind leg. She's a little bit frailer in terms of her bone work there. Every now and then she wants to kind of turn that right or that left hind leg, excuse me, outside of her framework a little bit when she stops and sets up. Um, like to make her um, a little bit deeper into the lower portion of her flank there compared to the heifer in front of her. She's not maybe just quite as soft, but still a real powerhouse that the young lady brings out. The young man's gold or red heifer that's going to come out next, uh, she's one that's certainly really long spine, and I like the extension of the head and the neck on this one. She's one that does have a really nice design to her hip and hind leg. Compared to the heifers in front of her though, she gets to be a little bit shallower through her rear flank. I wish she could be a little bit softer and more cowy down through there. And then when she gets out and goes every now and then, she just wants to get tighter and more restricted about her hip. I just wish she had a little bit more flex and freedom. But still, young man does a really nice job getting her presented. The young lady, Sherborn Plus Heifer, that's going to go ahead and round out the class. She's one that has a huge hip and a ton of shape in terms of her cycle and lower quarter when you get in behind her, and I really appreciate that about her. One that is uh, very bold through her center rib. Obviously, she's giving up a little bit her, a little bit of performance today compared to the other ones around her, and I just like to see her go with a little bit more flex out of her hip and hind leg. She just wants to pop on that rear pastern a little bit and needs to be a little bit longer through her hip, but still a really nice class. Congratulations to all those exhibitors. First place, Kenzie Clark. Second place, Jace Strasser. Third place, Ghost from Cattle Farm. Fourth place, Landon Sisler. Fifth place, Laura Stemple. We need in the show ring, Ghost from Cattle Farm, Brantley Ball, and Charlie Hayes. We will need class four, Lane Jenkins, on deck. Class three, we have Ghost from Cattle Farm, a heifer born February 23rd, 2023. Brantley Ball, his heifer was born February 11th, 2023, and Charlie Hayes, heifer born February 8th, 2023. We will need Kenzie Clark and Jake Strasser on deck.
Red Cross, Red.
Once again, I need to remind our members uh, to please clean up your garbage. Uh, there are a uh, few cans sitting around, but there's also a lot of garbage out front down by the um, Portage on. Please take a few minutes and help us clean up the, the grounds. We have to leave it the way that we found it, and it was clean when we arrived. So we do appreciate all your cooperation and volunteering efforts. Do you guys, that's important as much as 
I hope you learned something out here today. If you haven't accepted Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, I challenge you to think about that today. I have family members that have it, and they've passed on, and I know where they are now. And I know I'll never see them again. So you don't ever know what our last day is, but if you guys haven't made that decision and haven't come to know Jesus as your Lord and Savior, I recommend that you do. I'm more than willing to talk to you about it too afterwards. That emotional here today at all. Um, but again, it's just been really fun and it's been enjoyable. And you guys have been a pleasure to work with. Um, I think there's a couple very, very nice heifers out here that certainly have a lot of quality and a lot of look at them, and a couple that are still back in the bars that will get pulled out again. Uh, but I'll go out and I'll show you the one that I like the best. Again, thank you for having me out. It has been my pleasure. Charlie Hayes. We will need Brantley Ball back in the show ring, and Brantley will fall right into the position above this uh, heifer closest to the podium.